morning everyone. Hi, hi, hi. It's a Tuesday morning here and it's been raining for several days, three, four days. Um, doesn't look like a lot, but it's a steady, continuous rain. Um, I went out to get uh, Lady Jazz at the gym because it was raining so hard. Her scooter's still parked there for two days now. She's getting dropped off on the tricycle and I've picked her up in the truck for the past two days. Um, it's raining a lot. There should be water in the canal over there, but there's not. That'll probably come later. Um, this is the time. Uh, mid to late July through August and September is when the, the flood waters are going to come over there, but uh, I haven't had a typhoon yet. A tropical storm is what it is now, but it's supposed to rain every day for the next couple of weeks, so it'll probably increase in water. So, we had some bamboo over there fall down and affect our internet twice yesterday, so we've got JC, as you can hear there. <laughs> This is like, man, the boy's in the background. He's not getting his way with, with Sabrina, so he's fussing. But I can't keep postponing videos because then I can't have nothing to post. But, uh, so we just gotta, that's life in the Philippines, man. Life anywhere with children. Um, so back to what I was saying. So we got that bamboo taken care of over here, the usual place right over there. And then again, yesterday afternoon, uh, we came yesterday evening we came back and there was a bamboo over there over there not here but over there the neighbors laying over the neighbor's bar block and away I had to get out and move it and thankfully this morning another Koya came up on a tricycle and got the boy over here to chop it down and move it so we could pass freely we really got to get all that bamboo from the neighbor's place cut down because it just keeps falling over and affecting us both so I got we got to go talk to the neighbors and get something to start whacking all that down but people get real sensitive about their bamboo around here. But, you know, you see it's just all hanging over and it's going to fall eventually and affect our electricity. So we got to take care of measures, but we won't do it with the uh, um, uh, approval with the neighbors. It affects them also. But anyway, so if we ever get water in there, then I'll video it and show you. So we'll see how our, our brick wall um, is done against the own slaughter of flood waters when they do come. The other issue we're battling is, uh, so he's over there with Sabrina. Lady Jazz is in the CR cleaning up after the gym. So this issue has re-arisen again, and uh, it's leaking. We had actually sealed the windows on the inside and the outside, thinking that it taken care of it. It has not, because the water's coming here. These windows, there's, there's big gaps in here. You know, they're just, nothing is installed securely so the water comes all the way down to here down there from over in this area and just leaks and piles up this towel is soaking wet we put it here last night but again this morning as you can see i had to put some other clothes some dirty clothes back hamper here to dry up the water there was a bunch of water it was like this much right in this little area man we had to get it so it's coming down the wall here so when we get a chance, we're going to get a big piece of plywood, lay it over here so to keep the rain coming in this way, this direction, towards us. And a temporary fix again. So what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to build an overhang, probably right up under where that, I don't know if we can, where that AC is up here, right up under here against the wall that will shield the water from coming down here because I don't know any other way except to replace the windows. They function in every other facet, but keeping the rain out. And it rains a lot here. This is really wet. We don't have a dryer and it's not gonna dry very quickly in this rain. But anyway, this is just an update. I'll tag this onto another video and uh, something the kids are watching. But I've turned it off for this. We'll just go from there. Okay, let him play and EJ's downstairs watching TV. Alright, ciao baby. Hello again. Uh, found the accomplice culprit in the water leakage also. You can't see it, but up here, all along, all along here, all along here, up against the AC, the condensation, lots, big drops as well. So that's also uh, 
causing the water leakage as well. So what I've done was I turned the AC on. Hey, the rock, why do you need an AC when it's raining outside? Humidity. So I'm gonna figure out how to put on that to where we can keep it dry but without the coolness or the heat just to keep the humidity out. I gotta read the manual on my AC here and figure that out and that'll help with a lot of the condensation water. Oh, it's back over here by the couch. Anyway, let me get back to cleaning it up. It seems to be everywhere. Good job. Okay, thank goodness the typhoon, that's from the rain on the roof. Thank goodness the typhoon didn't come through Zambales down this way. A lot of, we got the outskirts of it. You can see the water all the way up here. Rain's got to go away soon. Look at all that on our veranda. Floating the shoes way over there. I bet that canal is filling up now. You have this water all in the yard. It's not flooded, it's just the rainwater getting in. So far, there's no break in the flood. I can't get out to check it. The rain's supposed to continue to rain until Tuesday. Today is, uh, well, no, today's Wednesday, so I don't know when it's going to rain until, but it's uh, Typhoon Karina way up north uh, west of us but we're getting the outskirts of it this is what we turn the table over to, like that not the wind but anyway this is what it's looking like so i don't call this a flood a flood is when water is coming from up there this is just the rain water on the ground whenever it stops raining the uh water will be absorbed into the ground. So where are those Lady Jazz over there looking out the window with a jacket on because she's cold with short, short pants. Every sky is here. And we took the dogs out of the pen, livestock pen, and this is why. Hang on, baby. Let me squeeze in there, baby. And this is why. As you can see, the yeah, this is just here the rain, but again, there's no uh, breakages, uh, no breaches of the water in our, our, uh, our the, the land. The walls are holding up good. This is just the water. When it rains, it sets here, but when the rain stops, it uh, within a day or two, it gets absorbed into the ground. So, this is not flooding. This is just rain water settling on the ground. Why well, it's been raining for four or five days straight now, I think see the water. Obviously the grass is going to get super high. Uh, i got to find somebody to come in and cut the grass because uh, by Al JC is, is ill. And even now you can't cut grass like this. But You see the water starting to come over there in the neighbor's yard. Continuously raining so we just need it to stop. Let me turn my hand side please. But yeah. So let me close this now. So what we still have is I'm not sure how we're going to combat it. Hang on a second. Windows giving me a hard time. Right my fingers again. Come on, the rock. Learn how to operate things. There we go. It's going dark. Anyway, I'll fix that in a minute. There was a lot of condensation on the AC this morning, so we had to pull it back and we're drying it up again. So that, I'm being called over here. Yes, babe. Yes, babe. I know. I already saw that. Yes, babe. We will combat that shortly. Okay. We will combat that shortly. I've already took note of that. And my plan, folks, is about six weeks or eight weeks ago, I was talking to uh, by Al J. This is what I wanted to avoid. Just leave it out there, babe. Yeah, there we go. Trying to do a video. <laughs> uh, just, just, just leave it there, babe. So. We basically build up a lift this high, the base of it, maybe this high, maybe four inches from there. 
to there. Because we're gonna, I want to eventually enclose this halfway and put a super strong screen up the other half so we still have the view. So we keep the bugs out, the mosquitoes out, the flies out, and uh, the rain waters like this on the veranda. That's pretty deep. It's like, this has been raining like this for several days now. This is why the water is like this. The rainy season. This is our first big storm of the rainy season for 2024 here in Zambales, San Antonio. San Antonio, Zambales. So hopefully this will let up and this will the, the, let the drains do their job and we'll be okay. And then uh, I'll have to think of something to do here temporarily. Buha is the Philippines. Okay. So our other thing here is we've shut the AC off and we're opening up the windows that the air flow through. The humidity is at a minimum because of the, the rain and the wind. So we've got some clothes back here after we dried it up again. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. All right. Until the next video. That's why we love our bio. Ati Lynn's uh, stuck at home in the rain, so E-Boy, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, you always got to watch your mama, yeah, so, brother-in-law, uh, brother yeah, JC fixed us some breakfast here, everything for Skylar, Lady Jazz, and me, there's my juices, there's my ginger tea, and there's my, uh, oh, got a mixture of apple, lemon, uh, cayenne pepper, and who knows whatever else in there. Help open up the arteries for me. I drink it every day. And uh, this is what he does for us, and she can't wait. And but I got them shots. He's really very hungry, ravenous. Mm -hmm. So, okay, all right. Just wanted to show that we're being taken care of while Hathi Lynn's at home safely and dryly in the rain until this lets up and she can make her way here. All right, folks. Mr. Makulit. Sabrina. Okay, ciao. Okay, we're back later on the same day. We're moving, we had to go get some other mats downstairs and bring them up here because as expected, as you can see, the water came in over here, started coming in. So and how we discovered this, it was coming in. I walked over here and right there, there was a mat and I, I put my foot down the walk and then shoot, Went up like that a little bit. And so I said, hey, what's, why is this thing slipping? So I picked it up and there was water on it and everything. And then you see where it was coming through the door. So we pulled those mats up, took them downstairs to be dried later. And we brought downstairs mats downstairs in, in the playroom downstairs and put it up here. Except for here, we're not going to put it there because we want to see the water. So we dried the water up, we mopped it up. It was all the way over here. So we mopped it up, put the towels here, sent... Uh, by our JC to the 167 store to buy a bunch of old cheap towels because we're going to have to keep doing this until we correct the problem another day, another time, another week probably. But uh, hopefully nobody's going to be slipping. These are all freshly dried. No, that's it. Fresh, one more freshly dried uh, mats. And then hopefully, let me check. Hang on. Okay, the feet, the socks are dry. So anyway, it's still raining hard, and it's supposed to rain hard, 70% rain, hard rain all day long until this evening, and probably throughout the next. The uh, Typhoon Karina is supposed to be out of the Philippine area of responsibility by tomorrow, Thursday, but I don't know. If this window is going to keep holding up, and we're going to be able to keep all the water out. Eventually, this is going to get soaked up. We're going to have to hang these up to dry. They don't dry well because it's humid in here in the house and you know I'm saying outside same thing so note to LaRock in the future I need to for days like this and there will be more days like this many more days like this in the rainy season I need to procure a, a dryer and uh, put it somewhere so we can dry whatever we're using up until we can get everything fixed and even when it's fixed I'm sure something else is going to happen with the water it never hurts to have a bunch of extra old handy towels around okay so this is our latest episode, and I don't even know what time it is. All right, we'll keep adding on as things happen. Thank you, Sabrina, for helping out Mommy while Daddy sips his coffee and does the video. Oh, I don't know.
Okay, ciao. Okay, it's about two hours later and the rain has subsided somewhat off and on and just went to a steady drizzle, but as you can see the flood waters have rescinded into the, the drains over there, so it's working as it should. We're still gonna have a little area here because it's low there, but uh, I'm expecting more heavy rains to continue the next couple days, but I was told uh, the canal has water in it. I don't know if you can see way up over there or not. Anyway, just wanted to give a quick update. It's all going to be part of one video. Still got a steady drizzle going. There we go. Really exciting. Yeehaw! <laughs> Alrighty. Yep, it's that kind of day, folks. Same day, a little bit later. Uh, emergency light is on for the second time today. That, that we're in our, into our second brownout. Strong winds. The first brownout, they came out, and when it came back on, they said it was a bamboo hit the wire. We we know how that feels. Uh, who knows what it is now? It's been out for about what? How long now, babe? 20, 25 minutes? minutes. Almost 30 minutes now it's been out. Of course, little man here, he's sweaty and he's tired and he's sleepy and he's hungry. So he's half asleep eating an apple. We washed him down since there's no electric. We just got what little water that's left in the in the pipes. And we washed him down. That's why his hair looks wet. And we changed him. So mom was trying to get the apple. I'm hoping he'll go to sleep. And we've opened uh, one window there with a the screen. And the other window here with a screen. and hope to get some air blowing. Problem is when the wind blows, it blows super strong. It's too strong, blowing in the rain. So the rain's a drizzle again. Uh, just no wind. We just need some wind to blow in and keep him cool. We're gonna go down in a few minutes, probably put the other two down for a nap. Bio uh, JC is out running errands, getting some pampers and shampoo and toothpaste and uh, cerveza, of course, it's Wednesday. For me, no fraud today, but so I'm gonna have a few beers at home why I make sure the families were all here on lockdown taking care of the leaks trying to keep mama as sweet as possible she has her moments just like me earlier I flared up and I, I, I flared back down she flared up and I threw a bucket of water on her she was fine <laughs> so anyway we're here trying to manage our emotions with our youngins and stuff uh oh is that what Oh, lightning. Oh, okay, I thought maybe she heard the tricycle. But, uh, yeah, there's the thunder again. There'll be some more lightning. So we're just here waiting patiently for the electricity to come back on, hopefully soon. Ooh, big thunder. Big thunder. All right, folks, we'll tag this on as usual. Just another day. Mabuhay to Philippines. Le Rock, our life in the Philippines. Of course. Lady Jazz. Oi! Matakao. No wonder he's hungry. Mama's hungry too. Blow kiss mama. Mm -hmm. Beautiful eyes, mama. Oh, that's one. Is that long? <laughs> okay. Ciao, folks. Uh, this might be the last video of the day. <laughs>